So in the beginning, uh, I knew Jerry from 1976. Wow, 40, over 40 years. So we go back a long time since we were kids. Um, I remember him as a white belt, and he must have been about, I was under 10 years old. We were probably 9 or 10. But the first kid that I've ever seen for me, and first white belt I've ever seen, that could do a full split, when he just from day one. So he definitely had that flexibility, but what makes him a little bit different from everybody else is not just the flexibility, it was what he was able to do with the flexibility. So like techniques, like side kicks or roundhouse, he was able to work, understand the technique and utilize his flexibility to increase the power and the speed of that technique. So that's the uh, one thing I remember really, really well when he first started Taekwondo with us, back in 76. So here I come in a year later, it's 1977, I'm a white belt, looking at all the students, and you know, I was amazed. Then I saw this one guy stick out, you know, little guy. I was the smallest, but he was a little bigger than me. I noticed it was a little special because he had something that I didn't see in a lot of other students. He had a lot of technique. He had a stretch, he had a split. And I always said to myself, wow, he's a green belt and he's doing all that. He's gonna be something one day. And lo and behold, as the years go on, we all went our ways. What do I see? I see Jerry winning grand champions. I see schools opening all over. And I said, son of a gun, look at him, he made it. And now that we're back here at this day and age, training with each other, and uh, just a phenomenal feeling. And I wouldn't change it for anything. My name is Simon Kim. I'm the twin brother of my brother, James Kim. And uh, what I remember about Jerry. Excuse me, Grandmaster James Kim. That's right. Sorry about that, Grandmaster, which makes me a Grandmaster <laughs> Simon, right? So what I remember with Jerry was when he first started too, was uh, it was definitely different. One thing that I saw about him was probably the leadership that he has. You know, he's always been that way. Uh, my father was, he's an extraordinary person, and one of the things that he saw about Jerry was that, too, that he was different. He, um, you know, he, he trained differently, too. He was always ahead of a lot of other people. Uh, and kind of like he was like a brother. You know, we all trained together, and uh, we always had great times. Um, every time I saw him going to the tournaments, you know, he had that passion. You could see how focused he was wanting to win, um, you know, and never to try to lose. So, and that's how he got his name, uh, Fast Free Fontenance, you know, constantly going at, into the tournaments, doing his best. And a lot of people do uh, see that and they respect, this, respect him as a great person.